Yeah, we all were. We here. Woo. So, OJ, y'all, OJ, he gone. Yeah, he died yesterday. Yeah, I he saw left that. up out of here. He, yeah, I just found I mean, out. He was today. seven. I mean, he died of old age, like seventy three. It's not. It like, was cancer. Like, they said know. it was cancer. Oh, was it cancer? Well, it's like he was seventy three. Well, I mean, he's old. It's old yeah. cancer is part of dying of old age. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chuck. It's like it's not. I, I mean, I, there was a couple people acting like, "Woo, you know, the murderer's finally dead." I'm like, dude, died of old age, surrounded by family. It's kind of like when Stalin died. It's like, yeah, Stalin died, but. It's not like he died. It's not like he died because of like you know he didn't die because of the bad things he did. He died. He died an old man. Like you know, <laughs> it's not like <laughs> people are very uh, people are very strange about uh, about about things like that. They get all happy or like when Kissinger died, people were like kind of self celebrating. Like dude died, like in his eighties or nineties. He was uh, he was old as shit. Like yeah, I guess. I guess it's good. He's, he not like he'd been doing anything for the last twenty years, you know. Like I mean, like people are just like, "Oh, Kissinger, he's evil. I'm glad he's dead." I'm like, I'm like, you know, it's one. It's not like he ever paid for his crimes or anything, you know. Like I don't, I don't think that. I don't think that counts. OJ got away with it so much that he, when he wrote a book called "If I Did It," and it got published. <laughs> I mean. I just think it's funny how people like people want to celebrate someone's death in general. Like, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's another human being. Another human being died. People die every day. People that you've never heard about die every day. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't know. I just, I just, I just think it's, I just think it's, it's weird and kind of, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of weird and kind of creepy how people like get all like get get off on like. Yeah, the guy died, you know, kind of thing. And just like, okay. Well, yeah. in fairness, I haven't seen any of that. I just saw headlines saying OJ died. No, I saw a couple. I saw a little bit of I just because, like, yesterday, whenever the, the headlines came out, there were a couple of, like, uh, YouTube videos where people were, like, basically, basically, not, they didn't actually say that, but they were basically doing, like, a ding dong, the witch is dead kind of thing. Oh, you know? yeah. No, I didn't see any of it. I, um, there, we there must was, follow was, like, different people. people. There were people selling it. No, this is just random stuff on YouTube. Just oh, like, I don't celebrating, know celebrating the celebrating the fact that he died. And I just like I just think that's just weird. Like it's just like, yeah, he died. He he died of old age and or cancer or whatever. And and I guess, yeah, good. I guess he, you know, his his the his reign of terror is finally over. Um, well, no, but it you don't think it's understandable from the perspective of people's that sense of justice that we all have of of wanting that satisfied. Yeah, and I, I think that but I think that sense of justice was never served. Yeah, and he so never, for some never, people, this is a way of satisfying that need, that that instinct. That, that I guess so. I, I just I, I don't see how that satisfies. It's not me. weird to me that people would like cheer for OJ's death. That's just not weird to me. But I didn't. I wouldn't. But that people would find satisfaction or a sense of justice in his death. Nobody likes to see the bad guy get away, like the villain get away. Well, without he consequences he it. it has implications for the like it, it's kind of a indication of society and civilization and whether it's real or a noble liar illusion we we want that maintained and so when we see justice not working that has implications for all of us yeah uh yeah, like I said, I don't know. It just—it doesn't really, really feel like it doesn't look like justice really was really prevailed to me. But like I, you know, hey, it's, it doesn't really matter that much to me. I—I I, I was never that. Well, when 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 pe when people when someone who people think is bad dies, that in and of itself is a form of justice for a lot of people, regardless sure. of how that death happens. Just knowing that, that they no longer exist on the planet, it, it is is a little goes a little bit away towards satisfying that. Sense. I suppose that is true. Um, I what was I? I just saw that. Uh, uh, say uh, no. I, I, was, I, I just saw it. Did, did you ever see the uh, the movie they made, the the miniseries they made that was like American Crime Story about the O.J. Simpson trial? No, I had no. I I was 
around for the OJ thing live. I remember sitting on TV. Yeah. I had no I interest did. in I, OJ I at all outside of that. Like that was enough for me. That was more I was, than I, was me. I was too young to actually understand what was going on. And like I, I remember being just being confused about it. It was on television every day. It preempted cartoons and that made me mad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was very annoyed about OJ Simpson because I was like, I don't know who this guy is and like all these people just keep talking about him and preempting all my cartoons. My DuckTales was not playing, and I was very upset. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's DuckTales anymore, but anyway, whatever cartoon it was, I was I wanted to watch at the time wasn't on, uh, and uh, and they, they just like the tri that that trial was like on twenty four seven, like before twenty. Never looked at a clip of it. I know the like if the glove do not fit me, but I didn't actually watch a single. But I, I didn't really watch news in general, much less the OJ trial. I just remember it just always being on the television. I didn't. I don't remember watching. Yeah, it. I think it was always on in the background for that brief little like those those months. I remember seeing uh, clips from like Jay Leno with like dancing Judge Edos and stuff like that, sort of vaguely, kind of like it's like almost it feels like a fever dream kind of you know. But I I, I remember here from Airplane. That's the first time I encountered him as a kid, and then I knew I knew he was a sports hero. But me, my personal encounter with him. I was I, 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 had, I I became a big fan of Airplane, like those sucker movies, like later on, and and didn't realize and naked gun and didn't realize it was hit that was the same guy until like way later i was like oh that's the guy you know and like in uh but i i watched that american crime you know american crime the same guy that did uh that did american horror story and like uh in nip tuck or whatever and like that, that same guy did glee the same same creator he made that he made that he made a show called american crime story that that, that, that just covered that that went through a mini series like a 10 hour episode thing people getting junior played oj uh and it was really really good i mean it actually and it actually made a lot of, it actually made the whole the whole trial and everything it actually made it make sense to me like it, it in retrospect just like like i said as a kid when it happened so i didn't understand anything about it and then like so in retrospect it, it made that whole thing make sense to me in terms of like the public outcry and like why it was such a big deal um but it, but that was like that's that's most i know about it's from a tv series so and it happened like a, a few years after Rodney King. So like in my yeah. mind, they're back to back. That was like the early 90s. And those are like the I two big news stories King, that remember. hijacked the airwaves. I was in college. I mean, it's 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 crazy. Like, like you said, like it was that was 24 hour news. That was like the 24 hours news cycle before the 24 hour news cycle existed. It was like before we had 12 like cable news channels and everything like that that covered news all the time. Like the OJ Simpson trial turned every TV network into 24 hour news station for a while. And like, you know, it was like that was all anybody like it was it replaced all the soap operas, all the afternoon TV stuff, you know, that was all anybody talked about. I don't know, was there I don't know if there was ever another thing like that in American culture before that. Um, I would assume maybe, maybe, I don't know. You would think maybe like, but I mean television wasn't as prevalent prevalent until the eighty until the nineties and eighties like that time. So I don't know if there ever was anything like that. Like I mean, like what? Like whenever Kennedy was assassinated, that was the '60s. TV was still new. You know, it was it wasn't in every household yet, so it wasn't like I would think. I remember um, Reagan getting shot. That was like my first like where news could actually enter into daily life, and because they had it, it happened during the day. We were at school. And they had one of those TVs that you wheel in on the carts and they wheeled it into the classroom and they plugged it in and they turned it on so we could see. And the yeah. TV stations were replaying the footage so we could see it over and over. So I remember them showing us Reagan getting shot in school. And that was like my first encounter with news being a thing that could intrude into daily life. It's really, it's. I think that was early '80, like January of '80. I was in fifth grade. Yeah, I, I was, I was a child. I, I don't remember. I don't remember any of that. I was. I mean, I remember the Challenger blowing up in January of '86 because again they brought us in the library and they had the school TV and they sat there and let us watch it. Um, I was, I, 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 like, I, well, I was at the age like where I was really interested in space and stuff like that. I was really young, but I was like what five or six, and I was watching the, I was watching the, the kids. You know, they used to, they used to broadcast every shuttle launch on television and like i watched several of the shuttle launches like growing up because i was like we used to have like a big telescope and we used to i used to be really in astronomy and stuff like that and like i, I was really fascinated with that stuff 
and I remember watching it happen live, like when it happened. When it happened. Which, wait, like, which one? What What happened live? Challenger. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, me too. That was yeah. I watched because we were all watching it. They show it live. They make a big deal, like the space shuttle is going up. So it was supposed to be a positive yeah. thing. Yeah. And the world was watching the launch, and we didn't expect it to blow up. So the whole world was like in shock when it blew up in midair. It was. I remember. I remember that was. It was horrifying as a kid. Yeah. It actually, it actually kind of. It, it, it actually kind of killed high my school. Interest. And it was traumatic. I get one of my favorite movies. Whenever I was really young, was this movie called Space Camp. It was like a movie about like a bunch of kids that went to a space camp and they ended up like accidentally going on like going into space. Oh, like getting that. in the um, Beavis and Butthead did that in their mo new movie. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> but there was and then they meet that, Beavis and Butthead aliens. Yeah, it was a kids movie called Space Camp. It wasn't there was no aliens or anything in it. It was just like this kid that went to space camp. They then they accidentally get like actually on a uh, shuttle launch or something. I can't remember, but like that was like one of my favorite movies, and I was all fascinated with it. And then like the Challenger thing happened. And I, I no longer had interest in space camp or anything. It like it, it like terrified me after that. I was just like, that was like, <laughs> it was traumatizing. <laughs> and that's also, you know, that's that's when they kind of they stop they stop showing they stop like uh, broadcasting every one of the shuttle launches up that too. You know, like they didn't they stopped broadcasting them live because because of what happened. So. Oh, they stopped broadcasting them live. Yeah, I think they, they start probably like they check and see if it makes it up first, and then they should so they, they they traumatize the country or the world. Yeah, they started doing a delayed feed on them because of that. Um, oh. and then and then after that, like there's just like the interest in like seeing the shuttles launch, the shuttle launches just kind of died down. They stopped broadcasting. Oh, yeah, they were cool as a kid the first one or two times, but after that, they just became background events it would have been cool to see one in real life i must i must admit it would have been cool to like actually go there and actually see the fucking thing take off like because like I, i'm sure that was a it was an epic sight to see like that giant rocket just like blowing out all that flame and all that stuff like like lo like lifting in the air like that that, sounds that, hot. Must have been, that must have been something to see of course well, I mean, even, though, even, even though it's, it's hey, widely considered the the uh, shell the shell program was considered to be widely a really stupid a stupid design and a, a bad system for for those sort of things but yeah but now but now we've got now we've got uh, you know Jeff Bezos making giant dick rockets so oh Bezos oh Elon and Bezos they both have rockets but but but, but, but Bezos's rocket looks exactly like a dildo and. I do not understand how. No do one you think it's for aesthetic reasons or aerodynamic reasons? Like, do you think it's for scientific reasons or he said, like, force this rocket to be shaped, be aerodynamic and shaped like a dildo? Because I don't know. I, I want to send them, I want to communicate something to all the people out there on the internet and give them something to another dot to connect in their mind that it's. I, I feel like, you know what I feel like it is? I feel like this is a case of like, I don't feel like this isn't a conspiracy or anything like that. I think it's a case of like, don't, you know, where you shouldn't, you shouldn't attribute, attribute malice to something that can be attributed to incompetence. I think it's like a bunch of yes men. I think that, I think that maybe. Okay. My first thought when you say rocket is there's a team of very smart, well-trained professional scientists creating these things so yeah. dildo is not the f first explanation that comes to mind for why a rocket is shaped a certain way but you've seen it right no i'm i'm trying to find a picture of it right now yeah, I, keep look, look at the, it's, I think it's blue blue origin is the name of this company oh it's yeah like okay i think it, yeah it, it looks like a little um tube more than anything else no but look at the head of it Yes, very I see. For dildo. people that want to see a dildo, it's very easy to oh, see a dildo. But to build a big narrative that Jeff Bezos intentionally shaped his rocket like a I dildo. I did not say he intentionally <laughs> shaped it like that. What I then think what's the point of that... saying it looks like a dildo? Oh, okay, yeah, it looks like a dildo. <laughs> Share the picture, I, I Jeff. I don't think right. he intentionally shaped it like that. I think that a bunch of people around him are too afraid to tell him no. And so they just went along. That with sounds it. fucking crazy. You don't think scientists designed this? You think one of their kids, you think Bezos, first of all, if they're scared to tell him no, he had to tell him to shape it like a dildo. Otherwise, they would just design it however scientists design rockets. It, it, I don't understand this, this like conspiracy thinking that enters into something as it's simple the as only a dildo rocket. rocket. That ever looks like that. Look at, look, look at every so rocket. what? Why are you drawing a conclusion that there's some like something in like 
uh, like um not sinister nefarious but some ulterior purpose in the design other than I don't that was the best purpose. design that the si like I that's a science science design model I think it's I think it's a I think the matter of confidence in the S manism is what I think it is but that's how, how why where what lead me to that conclusion from this picture I'm about to show I just this I, model I mean, like, look at it y'all like, this is what he's really talking rich, about powerful people he thinks there's some right. ulterior reason this looks like a dildo. He's convinced it's not just design and and like purpose, like a, like a, a, what's going to work best. That there's an extra aesthetic reason that it's shaped this way. And and I I want to know what that conclusion is based on from looking at this photo. Lead me through your writer's brain. Just it just. The, the fact that it looks the way it looks and that there's no real uh, there's no real um, reason for it to look that you way. You don't know that there's no real reason. That's what I said. My very first, second, third, fourth, and fifth assumption would be that there are scientific and engineering reasons for this design. Otherwise, it wouldn't go anywhere. And the dildo theory trumps all of that. It just seems anti-science. I think it's hilarious anyway. I, I mean, well, they make a rocket powered dildo. I'm out of business. My <laughs> wife will put me out. <laughs> what do you think, Chuck? What do you, 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 you look at that picture of that rocket and do you, you, you can you look at that and not be like, be like, it looks like a dick. I mean, like, I was the first thing well, I, I just I looked work. at it as a rocket until I put my mind into your face. Then I see what you're talking about. But See, first, this, I saw Chuck, a rocket. Chuck, this is why sometimes I walk out of this room thinking, man, I'm part of the gay view. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, look. I mean, I I mean come on. Sometimes man. a rocket is just a rocket. Moose, I walked, I listened to Flo the other night, not Flo, OTW, the other night on somebody else's show. And it gave me a headache. Was it the flag? NASA, NASA makes all the clouds. The ocean never ends. Uh, the lights we see at night are flashlights in the sky. I cannot wrap my head around it. NASA is a worldwide organization meant to keep hold, God hold on, away hold from on. people. I've heard that on Jim Bob's before. It's a conspiracy, and so are astro asteroids. Are not real. They're they're a conspiracy of NASA to make us think that there's a threat. It it gave me a, an actual headache trying to listen to this man explain flat Earth. Insane people talking to him, and it was like, oh my god, people are this stupid. <laughs> I I think about this all the time. I don't know if it's stupidity. I think there's something in how our brain works and processes things that I don't know. Some of us do extra steps or something. I think if they did a scan, you would find that they actually have a flat brain as opposed to a hemisphere brain that normal people have. I've been saying that I've been saying that for a long time that I, I think that people that have that 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 see the flat earth thing I think they have a literal visual impairment that like the, where they can't see the curvature. But that right. that is not their reason for believing in flat earth. It is not their vision, like what they observe. Some of it is what they observe, but their theory is that you're being lied to by the government and institutions and being told that it's flat. And the best one was NASA was created in order. To deprive people of God. So these are people that have no jobs. <laughs> None of the people with jobs are thinking this. I think we cut Moose off a minute. So ago. this is Go not ahead, the most Moose. productive sector of society that this is coming from. But it's scary how many of them are out there. I wonder if the internet just makes it seem like, or just like this little corner of the internet makes it seem like there's more than there are. But I know there is like flat earth societies and they get together and have conventions and stuff. Might as well call it Comic Con. <clears throat> What's up, Moose? How's the weather there today? 
It's absolutely beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. I've been outside raking leaves for the past hour and a half. You make work sound fun. Like, I want to go rake leaves with moose. It just looks so pastoral out there. <laughs> I never want to rake moose. That's a lot of work. Are we talking about the challenger? Yeah, no, no, we weren't. Oh my mom! <laughs> what does this mean? Oh, the challenge, the challenger scary. didn't happen either because the people are still alive on that Earth. Was staged, right? That was like the yeah, uh, yeah. That little green room that they staged. Yeah. <laughs> my mom was almost yeah. on that rocket. They took fifty uh, fifty teachers and took them through space camp. And my mother had weak ears and kept throwing up, so they didn't um, do the second part of the space camp where they whittled it down who was going to go. <laughs> That's true. Was that Moose pocket? That's that was Lindsay. <laughs> Oh. oh wow! They were making so, fun of Moose's voice the other day on one of those panels. <laughs> They're awful. I was just being, I was just trying to be funny. I was like, I don't think we sound that much alike. Damn. Is my voice See, really that I feminine? Know, I do not know what you, I don't no. know. What, I, I don't, there's so, there's so many other voices to make fun of over here, including mine, besides Moose. Oh, I, don't know what, I, uh, I can give rant, I fi, uh, 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 what's his name? Jones, Jackson, I can't remember, Joshua Jones. Oh. Uh, I could go on. They all sound the same to me. <laughs> oh, God, stop it. <laughs> well, there was a pattern to all of them, so... Not Rant. He still hangs out here. Well, Rant's another thing, bad, but that's another subject. Yeah, I, I enjoy Rant, though, and believe it or not, there's there's every now and then, there's little points of agreement. I'm like... But Rant... Grant I mean, believes I mean, there's a reptile living in the yeah, dome he, of the he capital. Is the, yeah, he's the one that I heard about the snake people from. Yep. Welcome, Lanza. Lanza, you're another one that seems almost normal now. Normal? <laughs> I mean, yeah, there is and no And you have a normal thing. voice. What? Oh, uh. I just heard like, uh, yeah, I heard like things that could be discussed that are conspiracy theories. And, you know, obviously, there's speaking of speaking of hang on, we're going to try this. We're going to try this. This is a first. OK, go ahead. Conspiracy theories. Yeah, I was just saying that uh, there's obviously like, I don't know. I think truth is stranger than fiction. I'll say that. He, um. I've heard it said, but also it's been true many times. I, I think I agree, but in a different way than you mean it. Yeah, but if they're if they're not, you know what? P.F. Young and J.J. McCullough, believe it or not, did a really good segment on conspiracy theories and what actually qualifies as a conspiracy theory. In fact, I'm going to post the link. It's worth watching. Um, but go go ahead with what you were going to say, Lanza. Welcome, Smith. I, I, I wasn't really going to say much uh, other than. Yeah, just truth is stranger than fiction, man, I think, you know. Thanks for having me on. I think the term conspiracy theory, I think people have heard, was coined after the JFK assassination. A conspiracy is when two or more people conspire against another group of people. Cons That's happening every day, all day. For illegal purposes. Conspiracy started in the Chuck, 1800s. shut up, dude. Fuck, Chuck's an Whoa. idiot. Oh. I don't like hey, it. I'll listen, I'll listen to Chuck too, man. Like, me, wow. to listen to everybody. But yeah, yeah I don't know. I'll leave Jeff. Yeah, Chuck isn't going to fight you. Hey, wait, hang on. What's, what's happening? Don't leave, Chuck. We need your super chats. There's no super uh, chats here yet. But there's no super oh, chats. Smith doesn't want Chuck to talk. You can't even <laughs> buy friends here, Chuck. Well, once you get super chat uh, capable, then he'll buy your friendship. Holy crap. Okay. Well, he's yeah, had it this, 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 this whole time. Why would he have to buy? Chuck just said like four words. Like, hang on, Steve, I think I feel like started. Uh, what are you? What are you here for? And, and do I need to keep you on this panel or not? I, I, well, that, that's, up you you. Your, it, that's up to you. It's your. That's up to you. It's your channel. 
But well, I, I, I want you to have the same chance everybody else gets here to, to talk okay. and participate in the conversation if you're here in good faith. Yeah, I, I waited. I waited for a silence in the broadcast, and then and then I interjected something, and then Chuck wanted to talk over me like he always does, like he always well, does. That yeah, does interrupting is kind of a norm here, so that does happen a lot. Yeah, okay. A lot of people. Chuck's not known to be long winded. If he does, you know, quote unquote, in the moment, seemingly interrupt. If you just wait about like four seconds, it'll be over. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because I had a one-minute clip for Flow State. I paid him to play it, and Chuck couldn't shut his cock-sucking mouth the whole time. So what were you talking? What were you talking about? Paying people to buy their allegiance or something? That's what Chuck does. That's how he got the nickname "Cuck" in Tennessee. He super chats well, everyone. I, I didn't channel. know about the nickname. So he can hang he out. Chuck, sixty-five years old and has no wife and no life, and he lives online on these panels with nothing okay, to offer. Good, uh, Smith, that's not good faith. What you're doing right now? No, you're lying now. Yeah. Did I come up here and attack you, Jeff? No, I'm just here sharing. But I, they What's asked the most me, important so I responded. thing you can think about right now? Is you can think about burying Chuck. That's the most important thing you can think of to like talk about. No, I think the biggest thing is conspiracy theories, that there's conspiracies happening against not only the American people, but the people of the world. There's the controllers, and then there's the people under us, under them, that, which the is conspiracy. us. Yeah, that's that us. The conspiracy uh, there's no theory there, though. Those conspiracies are unless happening you can, every day. Unless, unless you can. have some evidence that this is happening, it is a theory. Well, I think the last how much of that, how much, that those the other side of that argument, the other side of the argument is how much of that are you consenting to? I'm consenting to zero. Okay, then you're good. I never wrap my face up. You're good. Lane that sounds good, man. Quit interrupting, Landa. <laughs> so yeah, Chuck was okay. So here to recap, uh, Smith said, "Yeah, conspiracy is two people planning whatever." He said something about starting with JFK, and then Chuck said uh, something. About, I think what I heard Chuck it say was started like, start in the eighteen hundreds with the oh. the first assassination. Who was that? Was, was it? that Lincoln? If, if assassinations uh, were real. No, but, I mean, the idea Before that Lincoln. the wealthy and powerful have been conspiring is probably as old. Yo, you want to hear a real conspiracy? I think Abraham Lincoln was black. Um, who, who did that come from? Smith or Lanza? Lanza, yeah. It's hard to oh, tell yeah, sometimes. Well, that, yeah, that's that's quite a thing. No, no, I really, I don't know. It's like, I wasn't there. You know, maybe maybe uh, Abraham Lincoln what, actually what you, was black. Just it makes fun, sense when he freed the slaves. I'm just saying. So the fact that he freed the slaves leads you to believe he was black himself because a white person. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't, I'm just saying. Even though they were like entire I, abolitionists. I, I, I think right. they got mad and had to build a big white monument of them. That's what I think. Here, here's a brand new one I just thought up the other day. So people have all seen the orphan trains and the great reset and all that. I think all that footage is fake. I do. And if you look at the old pictures and you see the Tartarian Antiquitech, people are familiar with that lingo. They always have a vanilla sky in the background, vanilla as in right. plain, as right. in there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Right. It's all photoshopped. It's all airbrushed. It's all fake. It's they all. They did use like photo cutting or something. They had like they had a decent version of Photoshop back in like early 1800s, maybe even like earlier, maybe even like late night uh, 17. I know the book yeah, 1984 sure. like says that uh, he that, who and that the hey, and that could be. You it's know what I think? Book. It could be. Okay. So you interrupted me to say that could be. I said the book 1984 says he who controls the present controls the past. He who controls the past controls the future. So all they got to do is lie to you about the past and the well, future's set in place. It's well, all, that, all you have to do is really get you to consent to their lies about cuck. the past. It's a book and you're a cuck, Chuck. <clears throat> okay, Smith. Well, thank you. This is it. Look, Smith, you're going to like this. You said... Control the past, control the future, control the present, control the past. So what I'm telling you is that what you consent to image-wise, what you consent to uh, uh, your memory will be based in whatever it is that you uh, gave attention to. So then that memory will be created and you will be in with whatever consent that you attended to so it like there's a parallel personally there not just like whatever you were saying but like yeah i like that 
I got most of that, actually. Makes sense. Hello, all. How you doing? Hey, Busker. What's up? Not Just much. Fighting on a Saturday morning. What is your picture? Oh, <laughs> yeah. My brother shared that with me on uh, Facebook. I thought it was hilarious. Is that the Nephilim? No, show the picture, uh, um, Jeff. The rainbow Nephilim. Uh, hang on, let me get it. It's funny as shit. So I found, oh, I don't want to talk over B more. He's awesome. But I, I found it was interesting that in the man of, in the land of the blind, the man with one eye is king. And if you look at the eclipse, it looks like one eye looking down at you. And iris is the center of your eye. Iris in Greek is rainbow. It's the reign of B.O., Barack Obama. <laughs> Our body of the, the ring of body odor? <laughs> well, no, but they do call him the Lord of the Flies, and it doesn't seem like there's any more bees. It's now almost mid-April. Is Sauron involved in any of this? Is Flies love B.O. <laughs> they sure do. They sure do, and it's bullshit, and he stinks, and flies stick to shit. It's all bullshit. It's all a lie. By the way, y'all, if, for those that don't know Smith, he does performance art. Um, he's I quite do performance good art that. that's that dead example. serious. I, I do performance art the dead serious and most channels won't let me on because I don't I don't cupcake to anybody. I'm sorry. But like I, I said, I, Jeff, when, when you're not you're drinking, drinking you, I, I actually enjoy you when you're not drinking. And I agree with some of what you say. Yeah. And I'm even starting to like like the number word association thing in a way as a oh, Lord. art form of art. Oh <laughs> Lord. Chuck, can you tell us how Trump's gonna save us though? I, I don't know <laughs> you're asking. No, I want Chuck to tell us because Trump's oh, all—he's all about Trump 2024. <laughs> I hate Biden. Trump is the lesser of the two evils, but that guy, man, let it go, dude. He's not going to save us. <laughs> Banding together as men and taking back our country will, and that's not going to happen. Well, though. no, we have to do it through the political process. We we can't just take back. We you take it back at the poll at the voting booth. Unfortunately, America's like that. People are too either lazy or they're just too ignorant or they're just they believe in all of it and they just won't budge. Yeah, America's pastime is not baseball; it's apathy. No one gives a shit anymore. Well, we've always been. We're not a very politically active country. I think no, about a third of the population actually it's votes. Football, Correct, and apathy. Yeah. football and apathy. I think. So we have a third making the decisions for the that. That's the conspiracy. That's the centralization of power right there. One third of Americans, us, average American, those that go and pull a lever, are controlling two thirds of the rest of the country, and they're at the mercy of whatever. Did, like, well, I think we actually did. Decide. I think we did read maybe half at the last election. Oh, um, oh yeah. Well, that was a that was they was both what in the eighty millions, and they were so that, to get out of the house. To go yeah, that was about half. <laughs> Hey, Chuck, did you ever see that interview from Donald Trump in 1981 where he says, I'm just a real estate agent. I don't know why time travelers want to kill me. Who cares? You took that seriously? No, I'm just saying that's a weird quote for him to say in 1981. I'm just a real estate agent. Why do time travelers want to kill me? That seems like a weird quote for him to make. Because yeah, he's, he's a, a weird quote. But I don't he's a moon you. monkey. Do you, have, do, you have a yeah. do you have a link for that? Because I, I would love to see that. Uh, if you give me a minute, I'll go back and I'll look at my YouTube channel because I haven't put it out yet in a video, but I will at some point. He most okay, definitely I'm, did it. I'm, look look it up as a look it up as a Google search. Look it up as a Google search. Trump says, "Why do time travelers want to kill me?" And type in 1981. He said it in an interview. That's weird. It is weird. Yeah, it is yeah. weird. I don't know and that it's, it is. And it's nice to build I don't think Trump is future. sophisticated enough to have like this complex, larger meaning behind anything he says. Well, I, I think it's a spiritual battle there, Gen X Jeff. It's Ephesians 6. Well, that's a good conversation to have. What does spiritual mean? Because I've I hear that from a lot of people. And that's the part that I because I don't acknowledge anything beyond the natural world. I don't understand the spiritual aspect of some of these conversations. I don't I don't either. To be honest, I don't. When people say they're spiritual, I say that's interesting, but I'm not honest. So how what's what's a spiritual battle? And what do those of us who are not spiritual like do or how do we orient ourselves in it? You, you do what you want. To each person, just just do whatever you want. Do as thou wilt shall be the whole of the law, Jeff. Alistair Crowley. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he, seemed, he seemed like he he like he denied somebody named God. Well, that's his choice. 
But I, I, I don't guess. think that's the whole rule. I think Mr. accountability and personal responsibility is another part of the law. Yeah. Why, why is it why is it that when you listen to lyrics to most Black Sabbath songs, they sound like Christian music? <laughs> why is it when you listen to Stairway to Heaven Backwards, it talks about this tool shed talking about the property that Jimmy Page bought from Aleister Crowley? What's the Stairway to Heaven? It's Jacob's Ladder, Jacob is Kobe. The DNA helix, Jacob or Kobe's DNA. Kobe, Kobe, good Kobe, beef. Kobe, good beef. I don't, I don't get the Kobe. Chuck, thing. bad teeth, bad teeth. Chuck, bad teeth. Bite me, bite me. A woodchuck can <laughs> chuck wood. Chuck, as come as on, as man. As as but how much wood I, I, can a woodchuck chuck? Ask you, what, what's your obsession with No homes. I am on it. Well, I could make for an interesting it. show if any uh, people who have panels. Your stuff makes no sense. That's because you're, you're afraid, so of the you're afraid of You're afraid of it. You're afraid that our country is actually fucked and that Trump isn't going to save us. That's what scares you, Chuck. You think Trump's coming back in office to save us? Yeah, but Smith, not. like, there's many. That we only have two choices. That's even if he ends up on the ballot. But we only have two choices. So half the country thinks Trump's going to save him. The other half thinks Biden is. That's it. it Chuck's but, not. Like you're singling him out for something that's pretty normal. Well, because he he goes at me every time he sees me everywhere, and he looks weak. So it's for more it. about the personal thing going on. It with is. Guys. It is. He um, looks weak for it. He does. No, he looks weak, it's just and he looks your, fake. Your he looks like an agent. But you nothing. look weak for being bothered by like for because you your brought it up. Like, no, I just, no I just get annoyed by it. Every man's got a breaking point, and I get annoyed by it. I paid Flo State five dollars for him to play a fifty-nine second clip, and he couldn't shut his cock sucking lips the other day. Okay, okay, Smith, 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 here's the deal. You ever if heard you of to, lag? If you want to have, have like a a tete a tete with with one of our panelists, if you want, we'll do stream court. We'll adjudicate it. You guys can go and like and, no, and I don't care. Sides. He otherwise, has nothing to offer me. When you're on the panel, we're all friends here. So if you <laughs> want to just go in a battle, then we're gonna have to kick you off. It's well, that's why I came it. on Jeff's panel, and I'm not here talking shit about Jeff. I'm just trying to have an honest conversation. It but I don't matter. care about Chuck. Chuck, it, Chuck actually, it's if if you're if you're really interested in taking a look at the conflict and and, and uh, that's fine to do here if that's what you want to do. But just going at each other like this, it's all content. Yeah, we don't see it that way. We're about building community. We're not. We're not building. This content. that's like these are grown adults, and this is what I hear all the time. I was on a, a, a panel and he said something in the comments to me. And so I went on his channel. I, I said this to that person. They well, blocked Chuck me. doesn't it's, have a channel. I used to teach junior high school. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck doesn't have a panel and he's weak and fake and he stands for nothing. Okay. Then why are you, you came on a panel with Chuck on it. Knowing he was on it, you came yeah, on and put yourself in I a did. room with Chuck. And then he said, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave if Smith's going to call out my fake narratives. Okay, that's leave. not what I, that's not I'm what not I asking said. You to leave, but if Chuck bothers you that much, like, and you feel like you need to leave, but if you, you feel that on... trigger, Jeff, that you don't want me to share what I have to share that's interesting and unique and different from I your channel, then boot me. Then boot me. Anything. What I said was I would leave if Jeff wanted me to in order to avoid conflict, just like I did yesterday. Wow. And he said, "No, stick around." So I stayed. Yeah, we all it know was... you're a cash cow. Kobe's good beef, and you're a cash cow. Good what is your Lord. deal with Kobe Bryant? All right, what Smith. That's best? that's um. This is not going anywhere. So <laughs> okay, peace out, faggot. Dip me from okay. your panel. Whoa. Take care. There, Take care. Have a good no day. Damn. Have there a good was day. no need for that. That was that was an experience. I'm gathering data. I'm I'm building a pattern. <laughs> that was all part of it. All right. The so only I'm question. I ever ask him that he gets mad about is I ask him to provide relevance to what he's talking about, and he can't. That's the only beef I got. Okay. And it's not even, it, it's just a question, and he can't answer it. It's like the porcupine quills, that, like what uh, Schopenhauer and the hedgehogs. Like everybody's going to beef with everybody, it, like eventually with. It's, it's not a beef. It was just a question, and he's taking it. Personal. They don't have to hijack the 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 good parts of this. So, so we can go on to something else. Right? Yeah, moose. That's what I saw too. 
<laughs> just so silly. Like <laughs> grown what people I... on YouTube insulting each other's teeth. That's <laughs> part of the whole world. I don't know. I, I have to admit, if I was a teenager, I'd probably be a spurgy. I don't know. I'd be as I'd be drunk no, as fuck. That guy was no teenager. Time. That guy was. I think I was less spurgy. That guy was in his thirties. As a teenager, but it wasn't no reason to call you a name, Jeff. That was I wasn't called for. Yeah, that that was him kicking up dust on his way out. But I I, didn't <laughs> ask, I just I pointed been, out that why, like there are people. On panels that I don't like, and if they're on a panel, I'm not gonna have an enjoyable experience on that panel with them. So if I see that they're on a panel, I just don't go up. I don't go on a panel with the person I don't like, and then start poking them. Right. That's why I stepped down yesterday, and I offered to step down today, and you told me yeah, to stay, you, so I stayed. I think that is that is very mature of you, and it's not required, but. The the sentiment behind it is yeah, it so shows a lot of emotional material on your part. And Smith is just a spur, so that's why. <clears throat> He's mad because I asked a question that he, he won't can't answer, and then he makes it a personal attack. And I never go personal with it. And if you do, you're funny when you do it, and like and I appreciate that. At least you make jokes, Chuck. At least you're at least uh, you're yeah. jokes. Jokes count they're for old, a lot around here. Yeah. They're old men jokes, but at least they're jokes. <laughs> but they're jokes, and they're, I think they're funny. And like, and like, I can appreciate humor, but just being like, "You're ugly," that's not a joke, you know. Like, just, uh, like, the, just like, the, the criterion is malice. If something starts to feel like malice, that's when it becomes a lie. Yeah. That's true. Well, that's what happens, guys. When you're so in line with truth, you have to take little segues all the time to make fun of other people instead of just telling the truth. Yeah. That's... Zing. <laughs> and my truth might not be your truth. There is an element of that. <laughs> I, I think when, when we leave the physical, like the physical world, the hard object reality, and move to to the more social, subject, psychological truth becomes more differentiated and varied. But every but every probably. panel, he hyperventilates yeah. and goes. Spurting. Yeah, and he's about to get. He's very rarely do I have to add someone to this list, but he's about to make it. Make it. On oh, there. quit harassing my comment, my viewers. Is he... I, have a, I have a pretty decent Smith story. Pretty quick. Um, okay. it ain't personal. Tell, is, is no, it, it's not personal. I don't think so. Is it going to help the situation move on, or is it going to resurrect it and keep it? Oh, move on away from him. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> don't throw another log. Yeah, I, do want to hear it I will say that what he told me to do was really funny, though. It was really All funny. Right, you have to tell him. Just go ahead. I pissed him off, and I, you know what I did? He, he I stayed quiet one time for like an uh, hour, and he just, he was doing that for like an hour, and uh, and finally, like my my phone was like a two percent, and I just like clicked the mic button. I go, hey, I go, hey, Smith. I, go, I like what you're saying and everything, but uh, I was like, do you know where, you know, you, you have all this information. Where can I buy a phone charger? Because, like, my battery's going to die from just listening to you just all night. And he goes, he goes, oh, you need a charge? He's like, I'll tell you what to do. He's like, uh, he's like, dip your finger in the toilet and stick it in the socket. <laughs> and then he goes, you know what? He's like, and uh, he's like, and, see, he's like and reach, over, reach over and put your put your foot in the toilet he's like he's like that'll give you a hundred percent charge in about two minutes <laughs> i tried that it don't work very well <laughs> yo uh, yeah funny. moose he's show he's showing us who he is you know what and, he needs to do it, like, i want to i want to emphasize that this is a neurodivergent panel complete neurodivergent male so we can have little like ticks and outbursts and and spasms of anger and frustration and stuff so some of it can come out through that as well so i i kind of take that stuff like like it doesn't but i identify as faggot my twitter name used to be satanic faggot so it's certainly well it bothers me 
it it does not bother me. I, I words have the power that you give them, and I'm not Smith's not getting a single drop of power. It's not the me. words. He could have he could have used any other word. It's the malice with which he used it. Yeah, the malice <laughs> probably. You're right, Chris. Yeah, the word the word itself really doesn't bother me. Like, I mean, I, 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 I took it more as frustration just because I've seen like, this before, have, and I kind of so watched it. Friends, and, like, I, I, I'm so trying hard. to figure out. Kind of to it. Why I pissed people off so bad? I, I, that's what I'm trying. Well, <laughs> you you do kind of instigate here and there, but just like the casual person, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> people, people hate on moose too, and I don't get it. I would I, go I, camping I, with you. I would go fishing with. You. I would I would hang out with you. You're so you like grounding. You have this calming. Energy. Well, I, I met like, moose, even though he's four foot eleven. I'd still hang out with him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you so did. somebody had to be the uh, that dude who get gets the ring, right? Frodo there you or go. whatever, <laughs> the Hobbit. Hundred percent honesty. Um, I was watching this uh, one panel, and uh, Chuck, like, if you like, you ever just watch this stuff and just only listen to one person? Like, it's the funniest thing. Like, it just sounds like they're talking to themselves, and they all say crazy stuff, right? But like, and then, like everyone was just like yelling crazy stuff. No one could hear anything, and all out of the background I hear is Chuck go. People believe anything. <laughs> it's just like it just like resets the whole room, kind of. Yeah. And it's like yeah. it's just like these six word combinations that just like are just like you wouldn't really like you don't hear it unless you're like listening, you know, mm -hmm. to not yeah. be part of the. Despair. Well, a lot of times. A lot of times I'm trying to say things under my breath, but it comes out across the airwaves. I, I, I wonder if it's a southern thing, because I do that too. I got in trouble at work a few times for being in meetings. Well, I, for being I, got a, breath. I got a bullshit filter built in, <laughs> and I have a trouble controlling that. You know? Well, it's built on trust. Like when you hear bullshit, it, you. Yeah. Yeah, I have a hard. Yes, I have these. Say yes, I have. I have a hard time not saying something. Me too, me too. That gets me in trouble all the time. People like compliance, <laughs> but bullshit is objective. Um, well, it, it, for me, it's when things don't match. I I know when things make sense, and when they stop making sense, this little alarm goes off. Or I or I I pick up on patterns, and when the patterns start to not match or have some noise in them, I get a little signal, and it's that kind of stuff that I call bullshit. Yeah, when you know what they're saying is like when true. you're tracking reality, and there's it, it's a shift or a little like lag or judder in it. That that's the bullshit. You can tell that they're scheming for, like you guys said, nefarious. Sometimes, if it depends on vibes, I can't. But if it if it depends, that's where I have to go by their word. If it depends on anything they're telling me verbally, that's where I catch the discrepancies. And if I got to resort to name calling, I'm not going to pick up on it. Yeah, if I got to resort to name calling, then I've lost the argument. <laughs> Whether I'm right or I'm wrong, I've lost. Yeah. That's Man. a perspective I hope to adopt more. I will adopt that more. So I have been told that by believe it or smart not. people. They said uh, never words should never be used to hurt, which is like, yeah, it's one of those things. Oh, I must and that's what most it. people hope for, is the reaction to the word. Yeah, I mean, what what... I, I, it was attributed to Freud. I'm not sure it was him, but like civilization began when the first person stopped throwing a rock and hurled an insult, and it was a word instead of a weapon. But it's still intended to harm and attack. It, it's substituting for a weapon. The only thing I remember about Freud is when we were studying Freud in college, and it was uh, penis envy philosophy. <laughs> right? I'm surprised that hasn't made its way back. It's so true, now though. Back, now we're back to Jeff Bezos and his giant rocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Envy of it. <laughs> now, you know, Jeff, there's a fairy in that, in that rocket. <laughs> okay, Chuck. See how you, <laughs> see how you instigate? I couldn't resist. 
I couldn't rest. Sorry, I apologize. No, that was Benny, Benny, hey, Jeff, oh, I'm here. sorry. I don't hear people that that say things I don't like. So, what did you say? I, I oh, you you want me to leave? I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> Do what, Busker? Uh, Jeff, have you taken ever ever taken any sociology courses? I had to take one in college. Oh, uh, I hated I did. It. LP uh, PBS had like these video courses and you could watch them at your home on TV on PBS. And uh, you, you showed up twice to take two, there were two tests and you show up to take midterm. And I final. did that. All you had, and that was my sociology. I, it was, I didn't learn shit. Did the, the only thing I remember from that class was hearing about Edward Bernays, who I've, I've been hearing about a whole lot in these past few years. Isn't that Bernays sauce? Uh, he, he's like the king, kid, the king of propaganda, pretty much. He was the god uh, of propaganda. Okay. You know, and I uh, and he's also also the nephew of, of Sigmund Freud. That's what brought up in my brain. Bernays. Yeah, Bernays. Uh, it's spelled B-E-R-N-A-Y-Z, I think. Don't ask me. I wasn't alive back then. Maybe it's S. Maybe. I don't know. B-E-R-N-A-Y-S. Edward Bernays. Bernays. Yeah. Pioneer in the field of public really relations and propaganda. Classes and textbooks right. are, really, are really bullshit. So I don't he, know. he was the godfather of propaganda. And uh, that's the only thing I remember from sociology class. But I, I took that I in 2001, maybe 2000. Maybe there's I like studying how people relate to each other and how they relate to people in, in group dynamics and how like just like the presence of one person changes the entire dynamic of mm -hmm. the group and things like that. I yeah. really like understanding that sort of thing. And and unfortunately they don't talk about the sort of thing in sociology. They always, they always talk about it on mass scale type stuff. And like I, I, I yeah. I'm much more interested in like looking at the way that people actually interact. That's more psychology, like social group psychology and social psychology. Maybe maybe it is. Maybe it's more group psychology than uh, that's what I'm interested in. I guess because I think sociology is is like a, a scale up from that. But I mean, there are there are like bound like uh, gray areas where they merge. Sorry if my uh, Dell so sounds like the Deldo. <laughs> it's like vibrating all the time and shit. If if I dude, I if I can get one of the if I can get one of these stupid like these stupid old Chromebooks from Amazon working, I will send you one. And they they have they make no noise at all. If I can just get one of them working properly, they won't be good for anything but streaming. I'm just trying to make like these little streaming books because I, I after after I left after Amazon fired me, they left me like there was I had four computers, two little desktops and two little like laptops that you couldn't do anything with them except for like. Amazon stuff and I reflashed the BIOS on them and everything, but I'm having the hardest time getting like good Linux distributions to run on. You so. could you couldn't uh, pay me enough to have a Chromebook. Well, but if, if it's running Linux, it won't be a Chromebook anymore. Yeah, I've heard a lot about Linux and how good it is, but I've never actually tried it ever. Well, it, what, it, what it will do is it will run it will run Streamyard and it went and it will run uh because I was I was using one of them last yesterday and it was working all right for a little while but then it started crashing on me, um but so I'm trying a different distribution on it right now, but um but if I can get one that's running stably like like it it, it will run fine for streaming it won't be good you can run you can browse the web you can watch YouTube videos but it's pretty much what it's for. It's kind of like a tablet, you know, or it's like like a thing on your phone. It won't be much more powerful than a phone, but it, it'll be, but it has a it has a webcam built in. You can stream on it, you know, and it, 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 it'll it'll and it makes no noise at all. So, are you on it now? Or are you on your regular computer? I'm on my regular computer. I'm on my desktop. Is what I'm streaming from. But I'm, I'm as you can see that this is the see see what the laptop my lap. Uh. That's what I'm I'm working on. Try I'm trying to get it to work right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's. Uh... That's a kind gesture. I could use. Well, I mean, that's the only reason I'm doing it. I just figured I figured I could do, I, especially since like people are actually reaching out and actually giving. In, in, Watch in our giving show. We'll even provide you a computer. To do. <laughs> well, well no, it's just like people, people are being really kind and like and 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 donating to my GoFundMe and stuff and like that. And I feel like I want to give back to the community. You know, I want to mm -hmm. do something. I have these old <clears> computers that have been sitting here doing nothing 
and I have the technical know-how to do something with them, so I should, you know, use that. Not like I have anything else going on. Plus, right it now. probably helps your mental health by giving you something. It does. It definitely does. This, this is very therapeutic for me. Making making something work that shouldn't work is very is very like um, is very dopamine releasing for me. I get awesome. I get a I get a huge I get a bigger rush of dopamine from like from even like following a guide and hacking something than I do from like like I used to like hack all my video game consoles yep. and I would never even play the games after like after I hacked them I would I would never I would like I'd be able to like pirate any game do it I never play them anymore I just Yo. like I got bored once I hacked them. So. The original. The only hacking I know how to do, especially of any game, is like uh, like uh, taking the the game cartridge and like clearing it out by like uh, blowing a bunch of breath through the cartridge and then popping it <laughs> into the thing. That's all. Right, that yeah. is literally like pretty <laughs> that's much cool. what my technical I'm not know-how sure is. Hacking, but you know, hey, You're probably that's, one that's level cool. higher than I am. Atari. No, I don't think so. You guys are all on Facebook. You guys are all on yeah, Instagram. I, remember, also, yeah, I don't do none of that. No TikTok, none of it. You had to blow the cartridges. I remember that. I I, ha- I hacked my first Wii um with by fo- but but I was following the scene really closely there. I learned how to like I learned how to like crash the uh I you you had to, to use a copy of Twilight Princess Zelda Twilight Princess to like input input this absurd name into it and then then it would crash the thing and it would give you a ability to install like a, a package into it and it was all it was all crazy. And you do all sorts yeah. of things with that, and then and then I learned how to do it with an Xbox 360, and that one was really complicated because you actually had to hook it up to a different, you had to take the the DVD ROM drive out of it and and hook it up to a, and you had to like take wires and wire stuff together to like to short out something on the DVD drive so that the copy protection would break, and then you had to, <laughs> I used to do that kind of shit all yeah, the my, time. And my uh, friend and, probably brought, my friend probably hopefully bought one from you. Oh, I, ne- I never bought, I never sold them or anything. Oh, I did cool. it. It was, it was just, I just did it for entertainment purposes. I did it, I did it, I did it to just for me. Like, and then once, once I hacked them, I, I would barely replay them anymore. I just like, I would get bored with it. I would just, it was. Can you fix, um, what do you call them? Uh, amplifiers for like, uh, cars and, and like car audio I amplifiers. I, I'm, okay. I'm bad with cars. Those they do, yeah. Some of that stuff is pretty easy, but not if you like knew what you were looking at. Like, I don't know. I could probably find guides on YouTube and do it, but like, you know, I mean, but like, but for like, for these, for these, I had to open these up and I just, let me show you this thing. I just, this, this thing right here, this like weird looking, see if I can show it to you on the thing. It's weird looking contraption here. And then off of this, there's a little, there's a little clip thing. There's a little wire clip that you have to clip onto a chip onto the motherboard. And then you hook the other side of it to a computer and then that compete and then from there you run a program uh, to is this legal device. by the way are you teaching people illegal stuff <laughs> no, not legal. please don't be no i thought it was legal. all a fantasy i didn't even think what he was saying was even real <laughs> no it's real <laughs> this thing sweet. right here why, I, I why, get, is, why is it turquoise what an ugly color to make up. oh dude yeah, well, it's, that's an adapter. Look, it's three parts. Like, it's like take old part hospital off. plastic color from the sixties. <laughs> I don't know. God, I don't know what you guys will think about this, but you guys remember those cameras that you like with your finger? You like click, click, click it over, and then it'd be ready to take a photo. It would be like wound up, and you could take a photo. Oh right? yeah, yeah. You had to. This was like two thousand. This was like ninety nine, two thousand. You right? talking about thirty five millimeter? I it, I know. I remember, has, like, um, are you talking about the cameras with the film? That I think that, like, the ones I remember, I think might have been Fuji, but they were like, they you, came, you would go to the, you would go to like CVS yeah. or something, and you like yeah. um, buy the yeah, camera, film. It, oh, for, it's like twenty bucks or something. Yeah, disposable digital camera or whatever. No, or not you, digital. Yeah, you would, and then you would take it back to the store, the film, and then they would produce it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, film uh, camera. camera. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. They weren't digital. It was yeah. The uh, yeah. I, oh shit. I I used to take pictures of my Boy Scout troop, and uh, I got plenty. Yeah, from those picture uh, cameras. Those are oh, fire, were fire, bro. Scout leader. Oh uh, no, but, I was. But hey, uh, oh, yeah. you're, you're tr- you were a scout. What I was gonna say, what Chris was holding up there, that like green board looking thing, on those Fuji camera things. What we found out, I don't know how, dude, you find these things out. Someone found out if you like open it up and you like 
kind of mess with the way the battery's linked up, it like it, it holds a pretty good charge on it because it's the flash. It's the flash part of the camera. Oh, that that burns it out. And then what we would do, like if you if you like moved yeah. enough stuff away, you could tap your friends with it, like when they weren't paying attention, and then they would get zapped. Like it was like an actual like kind of like a taser, honestly. Jesus. <laughs> oh, yo, I have a call coming in. I have to take. I'll be back. All right. That was, All right. Like, that was like early '90s. That's that's yeah. I I used to take them on uh, camping trips back in the old days. I buy those things. I want some of those still, man. I want or those. What like a nice instant one would be actually pretty legit. I used yeah. to develop my own film. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, brother. Yeah, I never but, did. Yeah, never did that. But. but the chemical stink was the only part about it. Was it kind of like acetone or something? Yeah, you had your. Uh, Different solution that you had to run through or develop. I try to remember the name of the chemicals now. I wonder if people work with them way too much if they get cancer or something. You gotta wonder. I mean, like, and also people who work with acetone all the time, like nail salons. That stuff is noxious as hell. Yes, it is. Yeah, I used to clean my pipes with that shit. Then it got, <laughs> then it got too expensive. Yeah, I I, rem I remember people cleaning pipes out with acetone. I remember doing people doing that shit. It it's even better. It's better than even like a hundred percent alcohol rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. And then they take that map gas and like torch the shit. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't really miss that. I don't miss that uh, whole the whole thing. That's it. That was a part of my life that I don't regret I remember, it, but I, I don't yeah. recommend it. Joe, did you say some? I said I don't regret it, but I don't recommend it to anybody. Chuck was saying something about Reddit. Oh, I was saying like, I used no, I, I used to do stamp collecting, and in order to check watermarks on stamps, there was a chemical you used to have to use to see the watermark, and that stuff was deadly as hell. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Tetra chlorine or something like that. I can't remember the name. Yeah, it's been too many like years. You can't even buy it now. I didn't mean to piss Smith off earlier. <laughs> Smith was looking to get pissed off. There's something you could do about that. Well, no matter where I go and he shows up, he's got a personal grudge against me because I asked him that one question. That one question, man, I swear, that's all it takes, right? And it went I think, personal I think real fast. More serious problems than one question. I think so. But I'm not a psychologist or a sociologist, so I can't answer that. I have experience with uh, mental illness, and I would say that he definitely shows the signs. Anyway, see, I've got this one too. This is another another one I'm I'm working on. You can see it there. It'll focus. It's a nice, slightly nicer, one, but it won't focus on it for some reason. So. The problem with them is that they're not upgradable in any way. Like the, the, the memory in them and everything is all like is all like is all like locked yeah. down. 
and all on the motherboard. So you have to like you have to work with whatever resources it has on it. You could expand this. You can expand them with an SD card if you need more storage, but it's it's slow. So it's yeah, all of, most Chromebooks are like that. But it's but, but it's pretty but there but if you can get like a, a, a low resource like low uh like pretty fast length just reason running on them they run pretty well actually it's just a matter of getting it's just a matter of finding one that works with the hardware well i've done it before back in the day i used to do i used to run a computer repair business back when i was too and so Are i used to I used to do stuff like this all the time, and like I, I had, so I still had all, and I found a bunch of my old like tech, my old tech flashing stuff and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, I've got these, I just got this stack of like these four Amazon computers. I should figure out a way to do something with them, you know. The one of one of my uh, one of my thing one of my thing I can turn into like a little Steam Deck, actually a, a Steam machine. It should it should be powerful enough to run like basic games and stuff on it. Even. I'm 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 gonna need something that the. the come to think of it like yeah i'm gonna need something with a shitload of space and also ability to uh use this program gold wave or audacity because i i record mu music and mix it well, yeah down. I mean, like this this was this was just this is something i was trying to offer for people for just that just wanted to stream that were having trouble streaming or something like that they yeah. only had a cell phone or something like that it's just it, they would, these would just be stream machines but the uh, one of the two desktops, like if I, if I can find another, I need a stick of RAM for one because one of the one of them had a stick of RAM go bad in it. Um, but um, if I can find a stick of RAM for it, which I think I have around here somewhere, like it it'll it it's actually got a it's actually got a Core i three, um, a, a pretty decent recent Core i three in it, and it's got a, it's got pretty good specs on it. It it actually will run pretty deep. It actually it would run Windows even, but I'm gonna keep stick it to Linux, stick stick on stick on Linux because it will be faster. But, it, but Audacity is 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 a Linux based program, so. Really. Yeah. I, I use that in Gold Wave. I mean, that's all I've ever used since about two thousand and three, I guess. And then I kind of gave up on it. And then now I'm back to this computer and, and recording. I'm recording my niece also, and gotta have some way to mix down the shit. Yeah, I, I've got. I, I can even put. I can even put a on one of the little like little boxes. I can even put. Um, there's a there's a distribution of Linux of, of a Ubuntu called Ubuntu Studio that has a whole bunch of like um, uh, music production stuff already built into it. It's already got all like the right codecs and everything. You can use it for pretty much anything. It's pretty decent wow. actually. That's awesome. Um, I used to use it for recording some, but like, but I I I because it'll run Reaper and Reaper is the best. In my opinion, it's the best DAW you can use, and it's free. So um, it's better than Audacity. Just, just I mean, there, after you use it for three days, there's a splash screen that takes ten seconds to, to go away. That's it. Mm. That's the only thing you got to deal with on it. And it's it's completely, it is the best DAW I've ever used. Especially if you like using samples at all, man. You can do, or if you like if you like mixing in stuff from other media, it has the best way to like to do that. Like it's just all drag and drop. It's really user friendly. It's great. Yeah, I could uh I could just keep this dildo of a Dell and fucking uh hang on to my stuff under this computer and maybe can, I could transfer shit onto the uh the Amazon thing. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, dude, holy shit. Well, that's pretty cool. I I I we'll we'll see. Well, I I did you are you on Discord? Uh no, but um, I can give you my email uh in the private chat if you want. Okay. Well, I was gonna say you, you can you can join the Discord and like that way it's the easiest way to contact me. But you can email if you want. I'll, uh, my email is is uh you could like that 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 the thing on the Chris funding Vernalatskin at gmail dot com. That's my that's my email. That's one of my two emails that I use mostly. So. All right, cool, man. Yeah. That's just um... the easiest one to give you because it's on the screen, but. Well, I'll put this in here anyway. I'm going to uh, drop my email if any of you guys want it. I, I don't know why anybody would, but I'm going to sit it. I trust you guys, so it's all good. Man, I, I really I, I really feel for you. I, like I said, like I, I, they thought I had MS at one point. Like They, they, they really thought like they, they were serious about it. They MS at, at one point, and like I was scared as shit with that. 
and I was having a lot of like the symptoms from it, but some for some reason it went away, and that in itself is kind of weird, mysterious to me. So like I don't know. I've I've often wondered if like if, if my vertigo or something is like somehow like the MS coming back, even though it's not like a a symptom of MS, but like it makes me like you know. Yeah, annoyed. I'll tell you what. Um, I've got I've had vertigo uh a couple times after working really hard on an instrument and. I've never really had that before, so I think that might be an MS attack. I have a feeling, but or maybe I'm just like pushing the limits too much. Uh, what, what do you mean working on an instrument? What kind of instrument are you working on? I work on Cajun accordions, and man, what you said earlier, like the release of dopamine, like it, it is not. There's nothing like it. Working on something, even if you know that you're not going to work play with it that much when you're done with it. Just yeah. the, the the act of working on the instruments, it just. I like, think, it, and, and, and like there, you know, I'm not saying there aren't women that experience that, but it's, to my in in my experience, it's specifically like a very male thing. Like men really love working on and like fixing things. Like we just have like this innate desire to like make things go or whatever. I don't know what it is, but like it's just like there's nothing there's nothing better than like taking something broken and like in either either fixing it or finding another use for it or repurposing it somehow you yeah. know like just yeah. like figuring out a way to like turn like some piece of junk into something that's actually like useful to you like yeah. that's actually like it's like one of the best uh best feelings yeah. in the world really, really yeah is. dude like fucking um and uh yeah i fucking i was working for many i oh god it must be at, at least a thousand hours working on an 1800s accordion that i had uh, I have, but the keyboard's fucked up because one of the flapper valves is broken on the the button. One of the buttons just won't stay closed, and so that flapper valve's dead. And I have to send it down to Louisiana or something get get a new one made, new uh, keyboard made, because I can't do that. Can't and you know. I I used to for a little while I was I even though I, I never I never got good enough at to like sell them or anything, but I, I was going around like I, in Dallas uh back before the, the coop thing and everything and before everything got like my brain got kind of scrambled by I it's I really I, the, the, I'm I'm really surprised I haven't broken any of these really badly because like I my brain fog kind of makes I, everything's a disaster. I'm usually much more organized than this. But like but I, 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 I was taking like I was finding like old cheap guitars, like really cheap like Cheap Epiphones and like you know like 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 the fake the fake uh, Les Pauls and stuff like that. And I yeah. was taking them and like sanding them down and like giving them like you know cool like uh, stains and stuff to them and then like huh. putting like a little bit of hardware in them you know and like and fixing them up and stuff like that. That that was like a great feeling you know. When um, when did when did you do that? That was like five years ago. Wow. I haven't done one. Thing you you play before. guitar? Do you? Or... Yeah, no, I play guitar. Yeah. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, I have my guitar. My my one my one. I used to have, I used to have a collection of like twenty guitars. I had to sell them all to survive the last few years. But um, Gosh, I have my I have my one guitar left, like over there, my one acoustic that my wife bought me for my birthday back whenever I turned like twenty. Nothing more, not more satisfying than bringing something old back to life. Is what? When you fix something old and bringing it back to life is phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, dude, fucking that 1800s. Uh, well, it wasn't even considered a Cajun accordion because they were originally these one row accordions were made in Germany, and this was made in Germany. Um, and what like, what was the brand on it? Was it a Hofner? It was, it's actually called a Globe, and the okay. flat, flat earthers probably wouldn't like that. <laughs> I, I, just, I, I just, I just know Hofner made accordions too, and I used to, I used to work on a bunch of Hofner guitars. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll put up a picture of it. I think I got one here somewhere. All right, let me see. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is my one guitar that I, I still have. What brand? I is got it. it. Oh, well, it's a, it's an Ibanez. It's an Ibanez, but it's it was a really at the time it was a really nice Ibanez. It's, yeah. Uh, I used it's to have an Ibanez a long time ago. Yeah. I made some recordings with one back in like 2003, I think. Uh, my, my, I had, I had, got, I had bought a, uh, I had bought a, a Fender Telecaster Deluxe 
that I, I had that I, I had souped up and done all this stuff to and I had to sell. And that thing, it broke my heart to sell that thing. Like I, I had put so much work into it, but oh, yeah. it didn't mean as much to me as this did. So yeah, it's like so it the, came thing, down to it. the thing in my avatar, that thing, the fourth, uh, you can see these rods going to this valve that opens up when you push the button. The fourth one down broke and there was no way I could fix it. You, I, 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 was I it know. wood, metal, or plastic? Well, it's, there's a wooden pivot. They're all wooden pivots. Okay. Uh, and, and there's a copper uh, like wire sticking out, and it's shaped very specifically. And then connected to that is another piece of wood with a kind of a shiny uh, brass-colored paper on sticking to the top of you know that uh, it's yeah. not it's not the like the original keyboard had actual real brass coating the wood that were the valves and uh but th that's just plastic it's like so it's been it, replaced already before then yeah i had the i had the a new keyboard made a long long time ago and um yeah that that keyboard broke the uh, one of the valves broke on it. And I, I think it's because, well, the, those wires are malleable. They bend easily and you can, you can put them back in place because the majority of accordion leaks for, especially without a cover over top of those things are the flapper valves. Yeah. So, and like, it, it'll just, it, even if it pisses out air out slightly, the, the, I mean that accordion is so old, like those reeds don't respond very good, but they have a sound like nothing else, dude. I I I miss the fuck out of that thing. I haven't played it in probably about almost a year now. I remember I was in Germany and spent six hundred dollars on this acoustical guitar, and spent thousands of hours trying to learn how to play it. Fail. Yeah. It's, it takes a long time, man. It takes, uh, I mean, shit. I'm glad I caught on to these things when I was younger. I mean, the Cajun accordion, uh, or the accordion in general, I picked up and just thought I could learn it at the age of 20. And then just, I just didn't look back. And, yeah, that's a dying art. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't play polkas or nothing like that. I play, well, I mean... I play Cajun waltzes and two steps. Uh, I play Irish pub music on the piano key accord. While I oh, used Lord, to. my sound is out. I think this is the longest I've ever stepped away from the show. You're oh, okay, yeah. Jeff. You're you didn't right. get yeah, no, born by. We're, 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 we're just talking about instruments and stuff. We're not talking about anything weird, dude. Um, hang on, I can't hear anything. My speakers are out. Can you hear? Testing one, two, yeah, test, test, test. test. No. Uh, uh, all right, other than Chris there. porn bombing you. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I whip my dick <laughs> out But it's okay. It's too small for you to anyway see it, so I'm not going to hurt anything. Is anyone talking? Uh, yeah. Testing. Yeah. One, two. Test, test. Well, hello. hello. Put hello. your headphones on. Hello, put hello. your headphones on. Put your headphones on. Put your headphones on. Put your head. Yeah, he's gonna come back. Yeah, well. Uh, yeah. He hates. Jeff hates technical problems like the rest of us. Oh, I fucking hate it. I hate it. Especially I mean, my vision's so fucking bad at this point that I I just can't deal with it. Oh, I'm telling you. Yeah. I well, used to be repair electronics all the time and I could solder with the best of them. But now my hands shake so bad, it's like a dog shit in a peach seed. What? <laughs> dude, I, 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 I hear you there, dude. I was having such trouble. Like, Can okay, you like, rewind that one for me? I missed it, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you ain't never heard that old saying? Shaking like a leaf on a tree or shaking like a dog trying to poop a uh, peach seed? Shaking like oh, a dog no, shit no. razor blades waking <laughs> up next to chuckles now i'm being serenaded oh shit <laughs> yeah does well, that make does that make me gay 
This is the, you're on the gay view. And <laughs> oh, that's right. And Liv's not even here today. <laughs> Where is that panel hall? How could being serenaded make you gay? He usually doesn't hang out on the weekend. I think he has actual life on the weekends. Oh, shit. What is today? Saturday. Saturday. I, I thought it was the, Friday. The date. It's my oh, birthday. Oh, it's what it is. It's my birthday. I got to go buy a birthday cake. Is it? Happy birthday. Not me, my yeah, son. You're right. It's my birthday. son. Not oh, it's your son's birthday? Happy yeah, tomorrow. Birthday, oh, Mr. Well, President. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright us, YouTube. Marilyn, no. Uh, Jeff, that song is not copyrighted anymore. If yeah. not, we can, if we can finally they, copyright ran out. Yeah, they, they can't, they can't see they it. They took it to court. It's free. It's public domain. A federal judge ruled that the Happy Birthday song is no longer owned by Warner Chappelle Music and belongs to the public domain. Happy yep. Birthday. Everybody needs it. I guess. Where are you playing? Why'd you run in here for that? Yeah, he was trying birthday. to play Happy Birthday. Oh. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's Buster. I thought that was Chris. Shit. Yeah. Oh, it's Buster. Happy Birthday. I never played that. But it's so ingrained in my head. I could, like, if I sat down with it for a few hours, I could probably make it, like, spectacular. <laughs> Do you um read music or you play by... Oh, I'd never read music. I wipe my ass with sheet music. <laughs> okay, that answers that question. <laughs> I, I remember my my house burned down four years ago, five years ago, whatever the hell it was. And there was this uh, townhouse apartment that I was living in for like six months. There was a guy there that would go out at six o'clock every morning and play the bagpipes. Oh, my oh God. No, I love bagpipes. And he was good. He was good. <laughs> Wake um, up! It's bagpipe time. <clears throat> my neighbors, uh, they they deal with me playing this Cajun accordion. It's fucking loud as shit. But I've been living here for twenty since two thousand three, so twenty one years, and nobody's ever. Uh, in fact, the um, maybe illegals across the street. Who knows that they're illegal or illegal, but they're they're just like a bunch of partying animals. But uh fucking they play uh like on their stereos they have Cajunto music playing down. What kind of music? Cajunto or or whatever African. Called. No, it's it's Mexican. Um, oh Mexican. okay. Cajunto? Cajunto. It's what it got a J in it. <laughs> And that's where that H sound comes from, like jalapeno. And um, they fucking they they love it. They love when I play the Cajun music. They just fucking I hear them clap once in a while. It's just like wow, man. It's not. It's like I I can't busk anymore because of several reasons. Well, yeah. Uh, a lot of it being twenty twenty onward, uh, all the things that have happened, and a lot of it the other portion of it is the ms well when trump gets in the office all that would be fixed <laughs> i couldn't resist <laughs> yeah trump has personally promised to end ms for everyone uh, of course he thinks that means microsoft uh, so that. Think, you know, so oh, he's shit. finally gonna kill clippy so <laughs> multiple multiple sclerosis windows there you go. Oh man, yeah. Get dude. yours now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know if he'll survive to the election. I don't know if Biden. I don't right, know if Biden has survived. That's a good yeah. point. I'll tell you this though. I'm looking for things to sway it one way or the other, and it came out. Um, in fact, I think I have the tweet. Biden just hired a DEI director for his campaign, and it listed all the DEI oh, no. duties, and it was a whole bunch of woke bullshit. So oh, that was an official no. document from the Biden campaign. 
So that's that's a major point for me again. Oh Lord, no! Say it ain't so. Especially when you let when you said it beside Trump's um, anti woke directive that somebody wrote up for him the first time, like the first year of his administration. Well, if it does come down to Trump Biden, there's no doubt. I might actually end up casting a vote, a vote for this. Because I can't vote for Kamala. I can't because vote for Kamala. I prefer that to wokeness. That's how bad I think critical pedagogy is. Dude, Kamala, man, what a fucking... Dude, I think she's stoned all the time. I mean, like, it, it's legal in D.C., so... Well, she's been I, like that since she was in the Senate. She's probably stoned then, too. Like, uh, like the, the she, time that, that made me think she was on cannabis was that one time she's like, we did it, Joe. We did it. It's just like, okay, stoner. I get it. You did it. Well, you got the fucking fucking in office. Which is weird because when she was first elected as district attorney in California, she was a hard ass. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think she's just not. Uh, well, it, it seems like no matter who's running the country, it's being run by somebody else because there's obvious. No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. I'm talking it's about not. in the fucking government. No. What do you mean? That oh, like the, the, the bureaucracy? I'm not saying fucking Biden's not doing jack shit. And and Trump. Oh, he's just he's shit. the one signing the papers. They're fucking, they, they, like, I mean, if he was really up to everything, like, we would be dead. What yeah. was that? If everything was up to him, we'd be all dead. Well, we, we wouldn't have gas, that's for damn sure, natural that gas. That was kind of true about Trump, too. There were people, like, keeping some guardrails in place. Well, yeah, there's guardrails on everything. <clears throat> Dog grills? Guard rail. It sounded like you said dog rail. That's that damn hillbilly accent I got. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I, I was I was born and raised in St. Louis. I don't know how I ended up with the hillbilly accent. Not a St. Louis. It's Louis all accent. good. I mean, you know, in Baltimore we got, we got our own accent out here. Oh yeah, what is it? Please, Go is a big out. one. <laughs> The Orioles goes. <laughs> oh God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after the flat earth thing I listened to earlier, Jeff, and then Smith coming at me, I was about to lose my mind. You okay now? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Cool. I, I just don't even pay attention to it. It's just like, like I, you know, I don't think it's flat because look at the other planets. Uh, what does that say? Those are flashlights in the sky. I know, I've heard that too. I've heard that. Too. I've, I've heard that stars are just lights that are put there by whoever. I and mean, the ocean doesn't end. You can I, keep going. I know. It's like fucking good. Well, yeah, technically, it doesn't end. But. I feel bad when I uh, see friends buy into that shit. I know. I yeah, but I feel the same way when y'all buy into all that other shit. It's what no shit? Me. I don't buy into anything that no, I don't you, know. You're, you're, no, you're you're pretty grounded. You're pretty good about not buying into that stuff. I'm and fine. even if I I do, I, I try to have an open mind. I try to have an open mind to the flat Earth community. But they make it hard. Well, I'll tell you what. Since the uh, beginning of 2020, I've been called nothing but a lunatic. And now they're going to fucking cry. Well, I got my opinions on that. But. What's that? It was an unknown variable that came from across the way. And they didn't know for sure what it was, so they was taking precautions, and he was getting some bad advice. 
It was perpetual, and it still is, actually. Yeah, I still see people wearing masks, for Christ's sake, in their cars. What the fuck? You know? Hey, that's yeah, an that, individual. That makes that's sense an individual. It's an unknown virus. When it's an unknown virus, it makes sense to take precautions. Yeah, oh, if people want to wear a mask, that's too. an individual choice. I know it's an individual choice, but it's fucking retarded. But the the uh, the scale. But people is, make individual retarded choices. Well, all the look, time. that's that's called mass brainwash. That's what that is. It wasn't. It, it, oh yes, it was brainwashing. Yeah. I'm sure you were fell for it too. Nope. I wore mask all the time, but it's not I, because well, there you go. You fell for it. I understand viruses, for it. medical science. And in fact, I had it in December of 19 before it was even public oh, before mainstream public. news well no well they say the first case was um here here where i am in the city i'm in and that was back in, like in february i think of 2020 right yeah so whatever yeah. you had like it might have been COVID, but they would have had no way to diagnose it as COVID. right it was it was weird because we had one of the oh, early cases of it before it came again. out. Yeah, I got it. I got it, I got it in like November or December before before people started like really like before it became like a pandemic thing. Mm. And it was the worst thing I'd ever had. For me, it, it wasn't really that bad. It was like a, it was like a small cold, but like my but I couldn't get rid of it, and I lost my smell, of taste, and smell. And my doctor was like, "Well, it could be this thing. We don't really know, you know." So. So take a needle. Well, no, I did my homework. I did my homework. You got to like a year later. I know. They they fucking they're just never gonna stop pushing it, and they're yeah. They're, yeah, they have, I, well, they, they I have I have a, a lot of push since the last couple of years. I, I don't think I, I feel like the COVID thing's moved on. I don't see people really pushing and the people drugs. getting boosters oh, is God. way down percentage right, wise. Right, right. You're, you're missing something here now. They're making. But hang on, I gotta mute. Chris. I can't, Chris. I'm sorry. I can't hear. Go ahead, bust. They're make they're making flu shots with the uh, Corona COVID vaccine built into it. I, I don't know. Hang on, hang on, Busker, Busker. Whoa, I need to yeah. My channel. This is this is a entertainment channel. We're not medical professionals. No, we're not. Um, this is Busker's opinion. Don't take it as anything other well, than it's, that. It's true. I mean, it's they, true. They still have separate facts. No, yeah. Dude, where, no, where did you hear that? But because I'm dude, hearing it for the it, first it, time. From I you. saw it on a YouTube ad. Yeah, oh, but that no. doesn't mean it's yes, true. Just because yes. it's on YouTube doesn't mean it's no, true. No, it's an ad for getting the you the fucking the COVID vaccine with the fucking flu. Oh no, yeah, Walgreens has that too. You can get yeah. There you go. Times. That's what I was talking. But it's about. optional. Like you can still get just the flu optional. shot. Optional, independent. Yes. Because oh, okay. I I cannot take the flu vaccine. Nobody. When, when I did it, the last time I got a COVID booster year, like a couple years ago, was oh the same God. time as flu season, and I did them both, but separately. They weren't together. Right, and they're still separate if you want. It's not mandatory. I know that, but the fact is, they're still pushing the COVID bullshit, even if they're not mandating it. Yeah, they they're going to continue to market the vaccine probably the rest of your life, just like and they as people shots die and left and right. Okay, that rate that's like they try to say that that heart disease is caused yeah. from the jab. Oh my it's god! A, so you're, you're it's not a even, very you're not, low. Okay, I'm I'm ending this conversation. Right okay, now. I'm ending it. I'm right done. Now. No, I'm none done. None, none yeah, of yeah, I hope so. Huh. No more. What? What's next? If there's not another topic, I'll, we can wrap it up. It seems like it's the sun down. comes up and the sun goes down. Chris looks like he's into making music and fixing his computer. <clears throat> Maybe he's singing to the computer, hoping that'll work. It just seems like ra like wrap up time. If nothing else is going to go on. Yeah, I didn't mean to tank it. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. No, don't, don't worry. That, that, that wasn't that, my intention. 
Uh, that was I'm like the going. Titanic. I saw it, but I I just mm-hmm. let it drive into. <laughs> well, you should have jumped in there, producer. Uh, guys, I've got to go. I'm sorry. I, I got to get off. Oh, there's somebody calling. I got to go. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll be here tomorrow. The usual time. I might even do a stream tonight. Uh, Enlighten us, Moose. And machine streaming your... tonight, I'm trying to say unmute me. I, I, I was literally, I, I was just, I was trying to get this, I was trying to get this computer fixed up, but I, I, and it, it finally, I was waiting. I know for you're, it. you're playing guitar. You're playing computer. I can tell you like your focus is, is tell us how to live without fear, fear man. Just I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying to do more than one thing at a time, though. I know, but I'm trying to stream, like have a show. So <laughs> yeah, that that's the thing. Is like he's he's in it. He's uh, um trying to. He's got a mission here, and yeah. and you're basically not even. You're. How, you're how not, many viewers you got, we you got? Give it your all, or or uh, well, just, just went, back, it just went up. You know? it was dropping for a while. When I got came back from my phone call, it was down to six. Just one of our really, they were talking about musical instruments. I drove it down to six. When it when it gets techy and nerdy, it it like there's only a subset that's going to be geeky enough to be interested in in something well, on the tech m- level. So Moose, when they start us- talking about computers, board games, movies, and <laughs> like nerdy movies in great detail, or um music or stuff like that, then the numbers tend to drop. Moose, give us a promo for a fellow YouTuber in need. Yeah, do your thing, Moose. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, coming out today and enjoying the show. Uh, We have a friend in need, Mr. Chris, uh, with Venmo down there. Venmo, it's uh, V-E-R-N-E-R-L-A. T S K I N. If you have any uh, extra funds or you would like to help him and his family who have fallen on hard times and uh, as good people and great contributors to the show, uh, we believe that uh, helping him is the right thing to do. And uh, we believe that with the community helping Chris, uh, he will be able to focus back on the show and give us his all. So donate today. Save Chris. You got to go save, fund me also. Save Chris and save the broadcast. Praise God. Amen, man. We've had that, Daniel. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, folks. One, uh, one of the greatest voices on the internet. You heard it here. That's right. I mean, if, if an individual I know could get $3,000 for two motorized See? bicycles then we should be able to help a man with a refrigerator <laughs> i feel like i know who you're talking about i won't mention his name we all yeah we could pretty much figure out who it is but yeah uh, it wasn't even just that though like we got him like four grand for uh same guy same guy for a machine to help him with cancer hey. <laughs> and he over he over uh like you know what he needed and then uh the person that was like the main person of the show was like oh you're not going to give me any back you said hell no oh, <laughs> really? let, 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 let me make donation. this statement too let me make this oh statement yeah hang too. on hang on chris i'll feature you go ahead no I don't, let me say, make the statement too it, if if i get if if we get like you know if if the cost no of, what, no cost of thing goes over that i no. will I, no I will no the, chris Chris, what? listen to me. We talked about this when you set it up. <laughs> Leave it as an open tip jar. You're going. You're you're not out of the weeds yet. You leave it open I just, I just want to say my in case you need it. The GoFundMe is fine, but like the Venmo, just leave as an open. The Venmo, because it's not well, just going to be the fridge. The GoFundMe. The GoFundMe is specifically like I. So, I, I, so you're saying on the GoFundMe, if if you if it's more than you need, you'll. Yeah, I, I will put. I, will I, put I don't know how that works. Whatever you. I don't know how to, I don't know how to get back into, into individual people, but I'll put it to the show. We'll increase production value. You know, we'll get better cameras or something. You know, we'll do something that'll make the show better. Okay, that that sounds fair enough. Yeah, because I got no problem helping a fellow human being out <laughs> for a good cause. If I don't get my ass a job or find some more income in the next month or two, I might. <laughs> Knee one too. Well, you could move in with Talcott. <sighs> oh yeah, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> there you go. 
You we guys can save the world. In front of his car place. I got another interview on Tuesday, so I'm with you guys. Oh, what are you looking for? Well, I was trying to be an escort, but I... Uh, I'm going to say, isn't sex working illegal up there? Be. Yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't figure out how to sign up for Craigslist. <laughs> well, they, you can't anymore. You got to go double list. Because they took all the personals off Craigslist. I'm going to say Craigslist. Craigslist. But, but, um, they, the only fans. That's where everybody's going that I know. All right. We'll um, wind it down and maybe on tonight. If not, Machine Lies is definitely streaming. And I'm sure there will be some other streams. Oh, is he back to streaming now? On the weekend. Do what? Is he back to streaming? Um, yeah, he has one set up for tonight. In fact, I will throw the link. Sweet. Sweet. Jerry is coming for to carry me home. In an hour or so. Well, nobody cares about that one. For, for those that do. <laughs> oh, it, oh, this is going to be a good one. Black Nazi Grifters. Is huh? Talcott? So, no. Oh, machine. Okay. Yeah, I think it's the second part of his grifter thing. <clears throat> All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for being here today. Thank you, Moose. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, commenters. Daniel Price, I still want to know who you write for. Um, you're too good. Frank, if you're out there. I'm going to go run an errand and then I'll hit you up on Discord. Um, the rest of you, if I don't do a stream tonight, I will see it's Survivor you. Night tomorrow oh. night? Oh, uh, no, it's Wednesday, but we you had the episode you missed this week, we got to watch it. It was maybe my best, my favorite episode of Survivor ever. Okay. This cast is breaking the game. Like, the, the right, things that are happening on the show is making the game less interesting than the non-game stuff that the cast is doing. Yeah, let's watch it then, definitely. Yeah, we um. Well, I'll hit you up. Uh, you around tonight or today? Yeah, I should be around right tonight. All right. Well, I'll, I'm going to go run some errands and I'll ping you. Dahlia, good to see you, Fatty. Um, everyone else watching, we have a invisible Twitter audience too every day that, um, and, and tell StreamYard figures out how to merge the comments. There's, um, you have a whole nother side of the community watching that you can't see. And I guess it's the same for Twitter on YouTube. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, we're out of here. Um, see you tomorrow. StreamYard, fix your music. It shouldn't take five minutes to start. All right, there we go.